Welcome back to the 2015-2016 NBA preview. Today, the last episode for this year. The Golden State Warriors, which we have number one. Some people may disagree because, you know, the Thunder are there. But my name is Josh, or Enviers. And with me today, like usual. Yo, what's up, YouTube? And um, I'm kind of sad because... This is it. I'm going to miss y'all, man. This is it. I'm going to miss y'all. But it's the one and only legend of one and a.k.a. Low. Here with the Golden State Warriors, the NBA champions, sitting here trying to back the back like a Drake disc. So let's take a look at what the Warriors did leading up to this season. Now, the Golden State Warriors is an extremely interesting um, cast of players that have been assembled over the past, what, four or five years at this point, um, with a lot of questionable, but you know, decisions that actually pan out in the long run. Starting they didn't off trade for Kevin Love. That was a big one. Then, but even even before that, the whole trade of getting rid of Monte Ellis for Andrew Bogut and, and broke Trump. my heart. Broke <laughs> my heart. It, it it did for a lot of people because um once they did that, the um owners and GMs actually got booed in Oracle Arena for making that decision. But in, that ended up being a huge trade and trusting Stephen Curry, then going out and going getting um Mark Jackson as a head coach, another risky move which ended up panning out because he ended up playing um extremely heavy minutes to players like Clay Thompson and two rookies and Harrison Barnes and Draymond Green, who we all now know um are extremely, you know, really really valuable players to them and then end up getting rid of mark jackson and bringing in steve kerr which again was another questionable decision but they end up winning the championship in the same year of course a lot of luck with a lot of luck went into last season with the lack of injuries and uh the matchup problems that they gave not going against a healthy point guard yeah th that is true but um still they, they still um made a lot of great decisions Open and I'm happy, for him. I'm happy for him. I'm happy for him. Great, man. great organization. Extremely, so, extremely good at organization, man. Extremely. I remember in 2K12, I always used to love rebuilding the the Warriors in association. But moving on to the summer acquisitions, they didn't really acquire anybody except for Jason Thompson. And right now we have Chris Babb and Ian Clark as well on the roster. But who knows if they're going to see any minutes with this team? As for what they lost, they lost Justin Holiday, Kuzmic. And most importantly, David Lee, who's been a longtime warrior. Again, not not much loss, not much gain here. I think that was this is a reoccurring theme with these with these better teams. They have a system, they have players that fit in the system, and why even change that, especially if it works. So uh David Lee was he was rumored to leave even last year, so that's that wasn't that wasn't new to anybody at all. So it works out for him. It works out, and we'll have to see what happens come playoff time. But as the rotation stands Rotation looks like Andrew Bogut, Draymond Green, Harrison Barnes, Klay Thompson, and Steph Curry. Same team. Same team. Same lineup. Nothing changed. If it if it works, why even fix it? Why, why try to fix it if it works? Man? As for the reserves, we have Festus Azili, Jason Thompson, Andre Godala, Brandon Rush, and Sean Livingston. Now on to the final question. Oh man, this is again like I'm just I'm almost tearing up over here, but. Again, if you don't know, you need to refresh yourself. We'll look at some of our other videos. But we are finally at the last team. And Josh, this time I want to ask you, do you believe that the Golden State Warriors will back the back? Or do you think that they will fall short this year, man? We have them at number one for a reason, you know. It's obviously due to respect from what they've done. But literally, if they're they're the exact same team, I don't see a team besting them in the regular season. You know, they're this this team along with OKC, these two teams are built for the regular season. They're built to have great records, and that's why we have them this high. And this NBA preview, it 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 really shows regular season wise the best team. And this Warriors team is a great regular season team, but come playoff time, if there's an injury, it's it's not gonna play very well into winning a championship again but i absolutely do see this team back to backing if if healthy you know if this this is a big if because last year they really got lucky with almost every single player healthy besides minor injuries and whatnot so that's i i could i could easily see this team back to backing as for them not winning a championship like i said it's the injuries i'm, I'm it's kind of i'm kind of stuck on it as well because 
you know, look at the the luck that they just had last year. It's obvious that that's probably not going to happen again. I mean, Steph Curry's going to have a lot more point guards to you know be guarded by and guard in the playoffs this time. Yeah, players that are known for injuries like um, Sean Livingston, he played 78 games last year. Even Stephen Curry, he played 80 games. He basically played all the games as well. Uh, Andrew Bogut still played a handful of games even though he was um, on limited minutes. Harrison Barnes played 82. Clay Thompson played 77. Draymond, 79. A lot of luck. And um, they might not have that same type of luck. Not only that, people are going to understand how they like to play, how they like to run their schemes. So um, we will also people see are gonna know. That. People are gonna know what they're gonna do. Also, so. um, Gentry's gone as well. Gentry, Alvin Gentry's gone. A lot of people said that was a mastermind so, um, amongst their offense. So now we'll see what Steve Kerr really has. Then, if that really was the mastermind, like you said earlier, it is the same team. It's not like this team is extremely old. Uh, these these team, what the only player who's over thirty that's playing any major minutes is Iguodala and Andrew Bogut, and that's it. So this is an extremely young team right here. That's that's understanding how the nba is moving and, and understanding their um their responsibility and their role each play out there and um i can do nothing but respect that and that is the reason why we have them at number one finally moving on to the predictions of the warriors oh man last team last prediction so i'm gonna say something crazy i don't let think, it out I, I don't let think, it out i don't think they're going to win i'm i'm gonna stick on this whole they're they're a great regular season team there's no doubt yeah for sure they're, they're a regular season team but i'm gonna stick on this whole jump shooting teams can't win nba championships even though they just even though did. yeah they just they, they, you, just, you, they, you they, they, they kind of proved that they're incorrect they they proved the incorrect in a flawed way because injuries and, and things of that nature skip bayless called steph curry out uh, he did, he did, he did. But I, I would, I want to go on record in saying that if they had played uh, a healthy Patrick Beverly, or if they had played uh, a, a healthy health, Mike, Conley. a healthy Mike Conley, I think it would have been completely different. A healthy Drew Holiday, maybe. Nah, Holiday? I don't, I don't know about that. But a healthy Kyrie. Mm, no, no, not not that, not that. Maybe a healthy Kevin Love though, but not a not a healthy um, Kyrie. Because if Kevin Love was out there, Draymond would not have been able to guard him as easy. At least that's what I would like to believe. I, I'm I'm really surprised that Draymond didn't get eaten up by Zebo. You know, maybe it's going to have to take a LaMarcus Aldridge-esque player to really show his, his flaws of power for it. Yeah, yeah, and hopefully hopefully, um, LaMarcus Aldridge, like you said, um, will do that because... See, we've, we've seen what LaMarcus Aldridge did to T. Jones. We, so. we did. And, I mean, like you just said, though, um, LaMarcus Aldridge, so the Spurs have gotten better. Last year, OKC didn't even make the playoffs, but now they're going to have both Russell Westbrook and um, Kevin Durant out there as well. The Clippers got an actual small forward. You know, it's, and a, and a it's crazy. In a decent rotation. And in the... Um, and Zebo and them, Zebo with Marcus Saul, and then he added um, Matt Barnes with that small four rotation. The the upper echelon of players in the West and uh, the upper echelons of teams in the West, they got better, and there's there's no way around it. So it's not going to be this cakewalk. Well, they didn't really have a cakewalk, but that first round most definitely was a cakewalk for them, and they and I don't see that happening again this year. But we will see. So with that said, we would love to thank you guys for watching. This episode, the last episode, all the way to the 30th. And if you haven't, well, the playlist should be in the description. So leave a like, leave a comment, leave a share. Subscribe. You know, shout out to Bill and Jalen. We, we mentioned this in the first episode in the 30th team. But shout out to Bill and Jalen because they, they really are inspiration, as you guys can hopefully see. We know we're just, we're just trying to carry the torch, like we said in the first episode as well. Unlike Bill and Jalen, we're doing this over some 2K gameplay. And just to let you guys know, this was this whole series uh, was just based off of an idea that they had. And we turned it into almost a one-man job. They had a whole crew over at Grantland, you know, Zach Lowe doing the graphics and what have you. While in this series, I had to do all the graphics. I had to do all the the editing the rendering i had to do basically everything although there's two of us here below provided the gameplay so i could you know not have to record the gameplay as well so i could just focus my time and effort on editing uh the graphics the video the audio and getting these videos out on time for you guys so i hope you guys see the production in this series and i hope you guys really enjoyed it because i really want to see this do successful 
Yeah, like like we said earlier, just shout out to um, Bill and Jalen and uh, you know what they uh, inspired out of us for sure. I can't even front and act like you know they didn't they didn't um, aid us in this direction. But um, yo, follow me on Twitter, man. We ain't about all that. Follow me on Twitter at Legend of Winning. Um, also, shout out to Josh for allowing me to be on his channel and you know express my views. have thirty episodes with you. I know, Jesus. right? We, we're so close now, Josh. We're so yeah. close. Um, hashtag NBA preview. So let the word be known let, on let's Twitter. let's get that trending. You know, uh, yeah, let that let that all, all all ten tweets. Can't <laughs> wait. Stop, chill. And um, yeah, like we always said, man, subscribe, share the video, like it, let people know. And always, I want to have a lot of discussion in the comment section below because um, I'm going to be there as well. I want to see what people think and feel about this as well. Shout out to all the people out there who are on NBA Reddit as well. I'll probably share all of these on NBA Reddit to kind of get the word out. So see y'all later, man. See you guys. Thank you for watching the series. We'll talk to you later. Bye bye.